Good morning everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and today I'm going to share with you my newly completed Steampunk Spells. Uh, this is Graphic 45's DCE which was just recently released. So I'm going to point out a couple of features on the cover. Um, right here I have popped the title Steampunk Spells. I fussy cut this off the, um, the sort of the signature page. Um, I also fussy cut this off the signature page and elevated it even one more layer. I used chipboard behind both of these. These are just punched from the papers uh, in the collection. I just used a circle punch. I used, um, I think, a one inch, one and a quarter inch <clears throat> to uh, cut these directly from the papers. And then I layered um, some gears and this clock charm in, which I think turned out really nicely. Um, right here on the goggles and on her necklace, all right here I added Wink Stella, and then in the centerpiece, which is hard to see, I used um, uh, Wink Stella, not Wink, that's Wink Stella. Then I used Diamond Glaze to make this glassy look uh, for her goggles up here. I also added them on her eyes and on her lips, so you can see that. I used a sticker on the side here that says spells. That looked like it was peeling up a little bit. And then I added this decorative strip around the back. Okay, let's get started. On the inside front and back cover, I have this nice, large, very deep pocket. Um, there is probably enough paper to cover this, but you definitely have to do um, color blocking. And I'll go over what's left at the end. I'll try to remember that. These are two cut-aparts. And I used one 12 by 12 DCE and one 8 by 8 DCE. All the images that you see here are from the 12 by 12. It's just a scale difference. And the, this is a double pocket, so there's a stop in between. And then I've got these two uh, cards that I created using the uh, ephemeras that were cut from the collection. And then here's a couple more that I stashed in here. That is page one. I have a nice large photo mat, which I was able to decorate on both the front and back, so it's nice and rigid. This is page two and three. They're just mirror images of each other. These are cut aparts, and they're mounted on black cardstock. And then inside is another very large photo mat. And I was also able to decorate both, the, both sides of these, but as you can see, I had to do a little bit of color blocking to stretch that paper. So what I typically do is I'll set aside my inserts and then I'll come back and cover those at the end because I don't want to be forced to do color blocking on my pages if I don't want to. Here I did do some color blocking just to reintroduce that pattern back in. Okay, there we go, another large photo mat. Okay, this is page four and five. We've got a single bifold card here that is um, you can mount two four by sixes on. And then over here, I've got a four and a half by four and a half. These are stuck down with glue, which I chose to do. Um, so you could put a four by four photo here that would be slightly obscured, or you can add some additional journaling. And over here, I've got two um, four by six cards, or six by four cards, so that you can add some photos here, and your photo can overlay or be slightly tucked, depending on what you decide to do. A couple pieces of chipboard, and this was fussy cut from uh, the signature page, and then I fussy cut a, um, this flower, and I did the same over here, and this is a piece of chipboard. Another large photo mat, and there's some more color blocking. So on the large inserts on front and back cover, you would have to do you know more of the same to get it covered. And I'm so far behind schedule because I'm still sick <laughs> that I'm just anxious to get this out. This is my favorite spread, and I wish I would have put it in the middle. <laughs> All this color deserves to be in the middle. So we've got a simple uh, four and a half by four and a half waterfall feature here, and I fussy cut this balloon out, and that's became my fastener to hold my uh, waterfall down. And then inside I got a little, little tuck spot. So you can put a little journaling or another um, uh, photo or just something interesting there. <clears throat> All the balloons here are fussy cut out of the balloon page of the 12 by 12. Um, 
all the papers that you see here are from 12 by 12. And then we've got this layout on the inside. So uh, I think that turned out really cute. So these would um, house like uh, three by five photos. And that's fussy cut from one of the ephemeras that is also fussy cut. <laughs> and I think this one, I'm pretty sure this one's from uh, the eight by eight collection pack, but all the balloons are from the 12 by 12. Another large photo mat. Lots of room for photos because the photo mats are, um, are so large. Then this is the last page and it's just like page one. We've got um, a seam, a stop in here. So we've got two four by six um, cards for journaling and photos. And of course you could put the journaling over here and the photo over here, or you could just do two photos and then put a journaling card in the back. And then basically these photos would be protected from the sliding in and out, and then you can have the journaling on the back. So something to think about. I do try to make sure uh, to think about how photos um, on inserts are going to behave and if they're gonna get dragged across things or if things are gonna rub against them. So it's something you wanna keep in mind as you build your albums. And then another large insert. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I've got enough to cover this, but I was kind of anxious to get it out for you guys because I'm off to start on the Graphic 45 uh, Christmas collection here soon. So this is the album. And then I'm gonna pull in uh, what's left. So I have some stickers and some chipboard pieces left. And this is um, what's left of the paper. So I have a few of the 12 by 12s, full length, but obviously not full height. And then I've got bits of eight by eight and 12 by 12. So you can see easily you could go through and, and I'll probably do it later, um, color block to cover both of the um, front and back inserts, but not a lot left over. So you do need um, both uh, eight by eight and a 12 by 12 to finish this or you could alternatively just use two 12 by 12s. Now, why would you have to use a 12 by 12? Well, in this case, this album is nine and a half by seven and a half by two and a half. So there are pages in the album that exceed the eight inch size. So you definitely need a 12 by 12. You could do two 12 by 12s instead of one eight and one 12. So there you go. Um, I think it turned out lovely. I love the cover. It's very interesting. There's quite a bit of dimension here. Um, some of it's a little hard to see. And of course, if you buy from us, we are gonna send you some coordinating charms as well as some of these gears that you can use throughout the collection. And I had more, I just didn't, I didn't use all of them. So we'll give you a, a handful of those to you. So I hope you enjoy. This is Daphne with my crazy voice. I, I'm starting to think it might never come back. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in as always. The easiest thing you guys can do to support us is just like, share, and subscribe. That's free for you to do and it, it goes a long way to moving us up in the charts for YouTube and recommending us to other like-minded scrappers. All your time spent here at Scrap and Create on our channel is greatly appreciated. Any comments? Um, uh, we read every single one. I do my best to respond to every single one. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know in those comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So uh, as I stated before, my next album up is the new Graphic 45 Christmas collection, which will again be a large format because it's a holiday. So um, following that, I'm gonna do an eight and a half by eight and a half. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.